Hey guys, we got some news here regarding Wonder Woman 2. Uh, let's jump right into this. So we have uh, Kristen Wiig is rumored to be cast as Cheetah for Wonder Woman 2. Now this is really awesome. Now the first part, uh, the Cheetah announcement for Wonder Woman 2 comes from the hashtag show on YouTube. And uh, the Kristen Wiig as Cheetah comes from therap.com. So it is quite interesting because on the rap they talk about how she's an advanced talk for the role. So who knows what that means. Um, and then we also got some news today. I think I just saw a comic book .com or a comic book cast uh, report on it. How... Warner Brothers and Time Warner and with the uh, AT&T merger buying it and stuff is, is kind of up in the air right now and there are possibilities in the near future from the way I understand it that um, Warner Brothers could be selling off some of their assets if they need to make money type thing so who knows what this is if this is maybe uh, a part of that I don't know uh, but we'll have to wait and see just take that in a grain of salt maybe I don't really understand that part too much but whatever we'll have to wait and see where this goes but let me know what you think guys about this about having Christian Wig as cheetah i think it could be interesting um but at the same time i'm just trying to google and make photos or make a picture of this to make this kind of picture it's very difficult to find a picture of kristen wig that's where she's not from snl or from a comedy or, or a silly photo of her and it's just kind of everyone knows her as a comedian now who knows there are a lot of people who have blown people away like uh, jim carrey in in the different movies you know he's a great actor who's done both roles and stuff um but i mean kristen wig i can't really rem remember uh, a serious role where she wasn't a comedian and was playing a comedy role uh, with i seen her so it could be interesting to see her play that role it could be quite interesting to see that um i kind of feel like the cheetah being a character from that goes way back to like the 1943 if i'm not mistaken um it would be cool uh, her voice would just be a little bit different i mean i've always in the cartoons and in the uh, you know young justice the animated movies she's always had a bit of a deeper bit voice than the higher pitch voice that chris and wig usually has for for the for her roles so i think it could be interesting to see that um but i like that because i feel like she that having the more menacing voice would kind of work so well for her um for the cheetah especially in the cartoons and stuff so i think it's really going to be cool to see where things go with her for this and having her go against wonder woman could be quite interesting to see that um and it is interesting that they're going with a little bit of an older uh role i mean she's clearly just a couple of years older than uh Calgo dot i'm not sure really what the age difference is but maybe i'll try and put it on screen if i can find that and we'll see um how that turns out maybe if there's a reason why there's an age difference and stuff but really it's gonna be interesting to see that and i definitely can't wait to see uh, where things going if i'm not mistaken um hashtag show did say that they're looking at that the movie is looking at the barbara version of um of cheetah so that could be cool to see that we'll have to wait and see where they go if they take different parts and different pieces of cheetah throughout the history since she's such a old character and been around for so long um it's really gonna be fun to see that so let me know you think guys about this in the comments below and before we go we're gonna look at here we have the we have a picture from boss logic who has already photoshopped christian week as cheetah and i think this looks kind of cool it looks kind of interesting to, to, to me um but i think if they're going with someone a little bit more like like christian wig i don't know if they're gonna you know it's it's tough to say whether or not they're gonna want to use her name and make sure she's visible throughout the throughout the costume, throughout the makeup, because they'll recognize Kristen Wiig. Or if they're gonna do like a Johnny Depp type thing and just go complete disappear him and kind of, uh, you know, not recognize Kristen Wiig in the role. I think that could be an interesting way to go. I probably would lean a little bit more to to the idea of kind of making it look as accurate as possible without who cares if it looks like Kristen Wiig or not. Um, that way, it kind of, uh, you know, you can you kind of you don't have that pre any pre like thought going into it of christian wig being a comedian or recognizing oh this is the comedian actress type thing and you just see cheetah and i think that could be really cool to do it and i like the way they've done he's done it here in this photo uh we'll have to wait and see how they end up doing that in the in the costume and i think doing the different furs are really going to be quite interesting to see that and how things go with all this could be quite fun to do that so it's gonna be interesting to see um i also find it interesting that they're gonna that they're looking to use a known celebrity like that um and I think this could be interesting. I don't I'd hate to be, you know, if they wanted to bring her back later on, have a Jennifer Lawrence thing where she doesn't want to get full makeup all the time. So hopefully they can keep her. I think it could be cool to see that and to see how they do. If they do give her the fur, if they give her the the, 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 the tattoos, or what are they going to do, how they want to do that. I think that's really going to be cool to see how they do this in the in the movie. So let me think, guys, about this in the comments below. I would take it so far as a rumor. Uh, we'll have to wait and see where things go with this as things go on. So let me think, guys, about, guys, about this in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing. This is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace.
It's over. 